Being your best you with Dr. Keir Adept and Dr. Kevin Richardson. Have you ever had a day, an hour, a moment when you knew exactly who you are in the right place and knowing what you need to do? Would you like to feel the power and presence of being you at your best all the time? Almost all problems around health, wealth, relationships, and purpose can be solved when you are restored to you. And Dr. Keir and Dr. Kevin are here to show you how. Dr. Keir uses Geotran human programming, human design, and activations to quickly and easily release you from the automatic patterns and inner glitches that block your healthy, wealthy, happy life. Dr. Kevin is a clinical hypnotherapist with decades of experience in releasing the subconscious fears beliefs and habits that cause or contribute to experiences you no longer wish to have. Dr. Kevin specializes in releasing obesity and your blocks to success. Dr. Keir and Dr. Kevin are both passionate about helping people improve their lives in person, by phone, or on Zoom. Yes, it's as easy to change your life long distance as it is in person. So, join the paradox as Dr. Keir and Dr. Kevin discuss their different approaches to clearing your subconscious and restoring you to you with speed, efficiency, and a sense of humor. It's time for Being Your Best You with Dr. Keir and Dr. Kevin. The Paradox. Welcome to the show. Hello and welcome once again. This is Dr. Keir Deb. I am a Geotran practitioner and I also have some other similar techniques like activations and what have you. And you can find me all over Facebook and I've got websites and all that good stuff. However, today I'm on my own. We are unparadoxical today. So our lovely producer, Angie, suggested that this can be the holiday edition because it's by the time we broadcast this, you're going to be coming up to Christmas. And we all know what an interesting challenge that can be. Now, there are a couple of patterns that frequently come up as, as people edge towards the holidays. And uh, I'm going to give you some suggestions for both types. So what I find, well, let me back that up. I myself am usually alone at the holidays. So I know that they, that can be an especially challenging time for people who are on their own, whether they are on their own by choice, whether they're on their own because they're traveling, like I will be in France, or whether they're on their own due to circumstances beyond their control. Divorce, um, a death in the family, um, what you know, work could possibly take you away from home. Uh, during these times, which are so family-based. And, and I totally see that that's a challenge. And we're going to look at that. The other big challenge that people have is that they are with their families during the holidays, but they don't get on with their families. And as that's pretty much where I'm coming from as well, <laughs> let's have a look at that too. Because stress is stress, no matter what the cause and we can deal with stress using Geotran. We can deal with it using hypnotherapy, even though, unfortunately, Dr. Kevin is not with us this morning. Either way, let's take a look 
at what might be causing stress for you as we come up into the holiday season and what we can do about it. Ah, great question. Somebody is for their first holiday without a loved one. How can they deal with that? Great, great, great starting point. Okay. And, you know, I, I don't know the circumstances, but it doesn't really matter. What, what matters is that you're under stress because you are used to having somebody there and they're not there. Right? Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to at least attempt to stay in the now. Because what's happening with the stress is being caused because you're being taken out of the now. Yes, you, you, you're on some level, you're saying, oh my gosh, for the last 15 years, <laughs> this person has been here at the holidays and they're not here now for whatever reason. <clears throat> what am I going to do? Okay. So that's pulling you into the past. Now, the other problem is it's also pulling you into the future. Yeah, because you, you are anticipating that you're going to have this stressful or painful time at a time which theoretically we're all having a lot of fun and at least drinking a lot of eggnog and giving and receiving presents and all that good stuff. Now, of course, I'm addressing this to a primarily uh, Christian or non-believer audience in the U.S. where Christmas is the big deal. Um you know, my Jewish colleagues, we also celebrate Hanukkah, which is bringing up pretty much the same issues. Yeah. And I actually have no idea whether there is an Islamic midwinter festival or not. I apologize for my ignorance, but it doesn't matter because feeling alone, being stressed, it's the same for everybody, regardless of what religious tradition that you're coming out of. So the first thing is to be in the now. Okay. And I have, as I have shown you before, to my loyal listeners, hello, really easy to get back in the now. You put a hand on top of your head. You see, you see where there ought to be a central part there? There doesn't happen to be in my case. I'm going to put my fingertips right there, right in that soft spot of the baby's head. Right. And I'm going to leave my fingertips there. Doesn't matter which hand for about 12 seconds, 15. I mean, I'm listening for the energy shift and you may or may not be able to do that. <laughs> so make it 15 seconds to, on the safe side. Okay. And then you take your hand away and you put your other hand on top of your head, just like that. It's very simple. This is part of Mind Gems, which is the, the little set of 12 exercises. It's the very first thing we teach people in Geotram. Huh? And what it does, the mind gems, the 12 exercises, they basically check your wiring to make sure that your inner computers are able to function. And this particular one is to bring you back into the now time. Oh, there it goes. Doesn't that feel better? It's got to feel better, I'm sure. So even when you're in the now, obviously you can be aware of the absence of someone that you're used to spending this kind of time with. Now, what's that bringing up for you? Yeah, it's going to be bringing up something emotionally. Am I right? Obviously, you, you're going to be feeling you're going to be feeling something other than bliss and elation, probably, unless it was a really horrible divorce, divorce, and you're just feeling liberated and wonderful. In which case, you're probably not listening to this program anyway. So, any kind of stress can be ameliorated using positive points. Now, this is the second thing that you learn in Geotran. <laughs> so I do these every day, whether I need them or not, right? If you are feeling anything less than bliss and elation, that means you've got some stress about some situation. And it's worth identifying what that is. You know, you don't necessarily want to go into the void. However, even if for some reason you're not in a place where you can just sit and look at what's going on for you, do your positive points. And once you have them in the field, you can just do them by intention because, you know, putting your right hand across the body to the left knee and doing funny things with it tends to look a little bit strange on the bus, right? But I'm going to assume that you are sitting at home or in your office with your laptop. So you can just do this in the physical until you get it 
into your system. Okay, so I'm going to stand up so that you can really see what I'm doing. Positive point resets your love, forgiveness, and choice. So if your love, forgiveness, and choice are switched on, you have no stress. Does this make sense? Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to take my lovely long silk scarf out of the way. I'm going to tilt my camera so you can see what the heck I'm doing. Now, this is my right hand going across to the outside of the left knee. Okay, so this is my left knee. Unfortunately, I'm seeing something you can see pretty well. And I'm going, the first point is right here at the hinge of the knee. Yeah, that is the love point. And then about two, maybe two and a half inches down is the forgiveness point. And about two or two and a half inches down from that is your choice point. Okay, and these need to be switched on for you to de-stress whatever this is, right? So with the right hand, we're coning the fingers and we're going clockwise, yeah? Where your knee is the clock, so to speak. Okay, two, three, down a little bit. Five, three, down a little bit. Six, five. I'm going to do that again. Two, three, five, three, six, five. Once more. Two, three, five, three, six, five. Now, I personally, because I've been doing this a long time, I just do this as one sentence. Two, three, five, three, six, five. Two, three, five, three, six, five. Two, three, five, three, six, five. Right? And just the two, three, five, three, six, five will do it, but typically, <sighs> You know, a lot of us have a lot of very embedded stress. So if I'm working on a particular issue, I'll probably do the sequence four or five times. So, okay, I am going to be on my own in France for Christmas and Hanukkah, right? Hmm. Okay, I'm muscle testing. I'm a little bit stressed about that. Two, three, five, three, six, five, 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 two, three, five, three, six, five. Okay, I'm going to be on my own for the holidays. I'm good. You see how this works? It's actually really, really simple. It, it, it's just going into your inner computers and saying, we're going to reset these circuit breakers so they have more energy going to those points. And this is how Geotran works. Okay, it's better to watch you work. How can I learn to do these steps on my own? Well, <laughs> you, can, you can replay this uh, um emission, this transmission, obviously. Uh, you can get in touch with me on Facebook, Cure Adept. I actually have the graphic for that up in, I think in both my groups. Um, so look for Dragon Divas here is one group, and the other group is Light Me Up Coaching. And um, it's in the, uh, what do you call that bit? Um, I'm sorry, my brain just went out. Um, guides under guides yeah also get in touch with with uh, angie b here i'm totally happy to send her the graphic and she can send it on to you or just get in touch with me dr kier adept all is one word at gmail.com yeah because i'm happy to share but really, it's very, very easy. Just learn it. Right hand across the left knee, two, three, five, three, six, five. I teach it as a conga line. Two, three, five, three, six, five. 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 But that's me. Okay, so that's so those are two things already. Being in the now. Positive points. Two, three, five, three, six, five. Now, you can use those positive points for all kinds of stress. It's not just for emotional stress. It may be for a belief that's just not serving you anymore. It might be for physical pain. I mean, I have this little tickle in my throat, yeah? So here's how I deal with it. I, I stroke the part, yeah, that's bothering me, that I have a little bit of discomfort with. And I check, mm, that's off. And I go and do my positive points, two, three, five, three, six, five, 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 two, three, five. And I touch that point again, and now it's on. So all I'm measuring is, is the life force energy able to get there? Now, it's easy to talk about a tickle in the throat. More challenging if you are in severe pain for some reason. 
but the principles are the same. Yeah, whatever it is that's bothering you, you can at least de-stress it using positive points. Yeah, okay, I'm looking at a question. I find myself losing my independence and I don't want my family to note. Oh, that, <clears throat> if you don't mind my saying so, that's a little bit bigger and more individual question than I think I can answer this minute. But let me listen, okay? Just give me a second. Where I would go with that is, what is it about? Okay, are you talking about physical independence? Like you can't walk as well as you'd like to or you're, you're uncomfortable driving? Or are you talking about an emotional dependency? Because that we would look at those in two different ways. And the question I would be having also is, what is it that bothers you about your family noticing this? What is, what is inclining you to hide it from them? Because do you really need to hide it from them? Maybe they would be interested in helping you if they understood that there was an issue. But even just thinking, oh, you don't want them to put you in a home. Okay, got that part. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, that is definitely a bigger problem than we are going to be able to handle when I don't know you and we're not working together personally. But what I can suggest is let's do your positive points, two, three, five, and six, five, around the concept of being more dependent. Yeah? Because that's stressing you. Two, three, five, six, five, two, three, five, six, five, two, three, five, six, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, six, five, two, three, five, six. Oh, okay. Now, here is another kind of de stress um, technique that I think you would find very helpful in this and many other situations. And it's about detachment. What I wonder what would change in your thinking or in your feeling if you were detached about going into a home and not going into a home, being dependent or not being dependent. I'm not saying you don't have a preference. I totally get that you have a preference. It's totally all right to have a preference. But mastery is about detachment. Mastery or that is to say detachment says, I would prefer this, but if this other thing happens, I can, I can deal. It's going to be okay. That gives you a lot more choices. Do you see? Yeah. Cause all, any feeling of being boxed in is feeling like you don't have choices in the situation that someone else is going to make a decision for you that may or may not work out the way you would want. So let me show you this detachment clearing because it's, again, it's very, very simple. So we're gonna take the right hand and cone the fingers. Then we're gonna go down the midline to one inch below the navel. And this is outside your clothes. It doesn't have to be inside your clothes. Don't worry about that. So one inch below the navel on the midline and we're gonna hold for a count of two. So one, two, release. And then we're going to put the fingers back there on that point. One, two, release. I'm going to do that again. This is for detachment. One, two, release. One, two, release. And just like the positive points, you might want to do that, that whole little sequence a couple of times for whatever's bothering you. So in this case, I'm worried that if I let them know that I'm feeling less depend independent, they're going to put me in a home. Okay. One, two, release. One, two, release. And again, one, two, release, one, two, release. And again, one, two, release, one, two, release. And again, one, two, release, one, two. Ooh, there it goes. Now, I have energy sensitivity developed over a number of years. So I'm just doing it until I feel the energy shift. You can check by using your muscle testing. Yeah, so that's a yes and that's a no. So I tested before. Okay, this person is stressed for this. I just asked for you, is there stress here? And then I did the detachment until it checked strong. So yes, life force energy is able to get there, which it could not when you ask the question. So is everybody getting what I'm saying here? In any situation where you're gonna use Geotran, you're always asking a pretest question yeah? and you're gonna use your muscle testing, not your brain because your brain's kind of limited, but your body intelligence is not. <laughs> now,
then you're going to do the correction and then you do a post test that says that tells your system a change has been made you don't have to use that older programming again and this is exactly what i've been writing about in my book and i'm up to 52,000 words yay okay so i'm pretty excited but seriously this is exactly what i've been writing about today is this issue of being able to change being able to change and obviously <laughs> look at the program name being your best you we want you to change in the direction that supports you being your best you so getting back to our original question at the holidays Okay, so there are two basic situations. One is, okay, I've just been had a death in the family or I've just, uh, for one reason or another, somebody I'm expecting to be there or that I've spent a lot of time with at the holidays is not gonna be there and I have this sense of impending loss. Okay. And we looked at being in the now, we looked at positive points, right hand across the body to the left knee, and we also looked at detachment. But I'm hearing that there is something else that's, that's going to help. Now, in the past, you've noticed that uh, we particularly looked at self-esteem, and I've told you that there, there are four subconscious clearings that go down the midline right here, right here on your chest, right? So where you can see them. <laughs> okay, so the four points are right here between the breasts, then at the solar plexus, then at the navel, and then about an inch above the pubic bone, okay? And the third thing that everybody learns when they start learning Chia Tran are these subconscious clearings. And each of them is right hand clockwise. Now I keep adjusting my camera so that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Right hand clockwise. Clockwise means top to left to bottom to right. Clockwise, as if you are the clock, as if I am the clock as you're looking at me. And it's, again, I do them, this is just as one long sentence. Four, two, down to the solar plexus. Two, two, down to the navel. Four, four, down to the pubic bone. Six, two. Now, what are these resetting? Self-love, self-esteem, self-value. Then the solar plexus is about success. The navel is I choose to live. Above the pubic bone is, I choose to live by higher laws. Now, how is that going to help you in this particular situation? Well, let's just consider that for a moment. What's actually going on? If you're feeling that sense of loss, it's almost certainly going to be accompanied by something affecting your self-esteem and self-value. You know, maybe you're asking yourself, could I have changed this? Or... Is this anything, you know, I'm responsible for this loss, for this absence, for instance. And that's a, that's a good question. Reset your self-esteem. Is it because of, for example, a divorce or some sort of relationship separation? Well, then you want to maybe check your success point. Maybe you're feeling like a failure. I, God knows I do whenever I have a relationship that doesn't work. I immediately, you know, say, ah, you know, maybe it's me. And then the navel, which is about choosing to live, is, is, is particularly helpful when you are experiencing a loss because somebody died. Yeah. Don't follow them into the grave, please. I, I have a local friend who, when I first met him, I don't know, what, five years ago, he was talking about his wife, and I said, oh, I didn't realize you were married. Because well, I'd never never seen him with anyone. I mean, this is somebody I'd just met, you understand. But he's been friends with friends of mine for a long time. And she said, oh, yeah, she died in 2004. And I said, would you please check or allow me to check for you if part of you went into the grave with her? That is not how we're supposed to live. That is not how we're supposed to live. We are here to live fully in the now and have as good a life as we can as happy a life as we can so choose to live please be hey let me just finish this um, and then there's choosing to live by higher laws so the law of light the law of balance the law of harmony the law of whatever now that's what we're doing with the six two so again i'm just going to run over those numbers and once again, Facebook or by email or ask Angie 
uh, it's 4-2 down a bit, 2-2 two, two down a bit, naval 4-4, um, four, four, and then down to the 3 point six two. Hey, Dr. Kevin. Woo! Hello. Hey, all this time change stuff is so confusing. <laughs> Okay, I'll believe you. So, so what we what we started with, uh, Kevin, was um, our lovely producer Angie B asked me to look at people who are stressing out over the holidays. Oh, great! Time. Right. So I was I was reminding everyone to be in the now, to use their positive points down the left leg. And to reset those subconscious points, and also I, I show them the detachment clearing. Oh, awesome! Right? Awesome. So 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 it's actually a really good moment for you to arrive, um, and I hope you're feeling better. And uh, I, what I was going to go to, but we don't have to, but up to you. Um, what I was thinking was the other the, the one way that people get very um, off center during the holidays is that they're missing someone that maybe there's been a divorce, maybe there's been a death in the family, something like that. That's what I was addressing. But the other one is, you know, uncle Albert, <laughs> you see what I mean? Maybe like me, you just don't get on with your family and you have this sense of impending doom because you feel like you ought to be there. You kind of want to see everyone, but on the other hand, <laughs> there's also going to be judgment and projections, and it's going to trigger you. And so, that, I'm that's so funny. That, a bit. that is so funny because in Ask Amy, which is Ask and Landers, they oh, talked yeah. about. She talked about this topic. Oh. Because yeah. the guy wrote in saying he does not get along with her family at all. Mm -hmm. And she just kind of said, well, you know, maybe take your wife aside and just kind of say, this is where I'm uncomfortable. And this is mm -hmm. why I'm uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And then pray. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I would like to take that a step further, if I may. <laughs> And you can use GeoTrans, and also you can listen to stress reduction. Please. Yes, because it's all about stress, it, whether it's a loss or whether it's a presence. <laughs> <laughs> Either one is stressing you, then we can use GeoTran, and we can definitely use hypnotherapy techniques right. as well. Right. Just for the just for the de-stressing, because if you can yeah. step outside the stress it's much easier to see what choices you do have. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. There are always choices. It may not feel like it sometimes, but really there are always choices. Yeah, there are. There I is mean, a choice. Yeah, you know, France, for example, it's always a good choice in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do realize that not everyone will see that as the best possible choice for you, but, but that's well, okay too, because okay. we are all individual. <laughs> Are okay, and different circumstances hit different people in different ways. But what I did want to talk about, just at least for a moment, if it's okay with you, Dr. Kevin, is yeah. this, is this issue of triggers because that's actually yeah. normally what gets people in the holidays. And you can have a positive trigger, you can have a negative trigger. Now, in the sense of what I was just talking about, there's been a loss. There's somebody not going to be there who you are expect who in the past you have frequently spent the holidays with. Um, like Michael will be feeling because I'm out of town. Um, that's a negative trigger. Yeah. That's yeah. saying, okay, I, I kind of expected this and it's not happening and, and I don't know what to fill that space with. Right. But I'd also like to talk about positive triggers and positive triggers. I'm not meaning <laughs> you end up feeling in a positive manner because of these triggers. Yeah. I'm ah, saying it's ah, because somebody's there who you'd really rather not engage with. Right, right. And of course, in the run up to, I mean, here in the U.S., since the run up to Thanksgiving, um, which I will be here for. And then uh, if you're Jewish, the run, run up to Hanukkah, which is, you know, the big family holiday. And of course, if you're not Jewish, uh, then it's the run up to Christmas. Yeah. So we're going to take Christmas as, as our example because, hey. So... 
What do you do about that? Well, firstly, you get back to the now. Thank you very much. Come back to the now. <laughs> Please don't spend the next six weeks feeling anxious that you're going to run into Uncle Albert or whatever your equivalent is. Uh, right. And, you know, just stay focused on the now. Stay centered. Yes. Yeah. It's all about yeah. balance and harmony. Yeah. It's balance and harmony. And if you're feeling a little tweaked out, you can use Geotran mm -hmm. to get you back into space, into your space, or you can go on to YouTube and they do have some wonderful videos uh, for stress. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh -huh. They do. They do. There are hundreds of videos on YouTube for hypnosis, hypnotherapy. Have you created any? I have. I have. There you go, everybody. Look for Dr. So, Kevin Richardson. I have created uh, nine, actually. Nine. And um, I do have a stress video that I'm able to share. You know, all you need to do is just say I want it. Um, but I do, I do need a email in order to send it to you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so, and that's that's email. true for the for those. You know, I didn't. I, I think I said earlier. You know, you guys also can email me for the graphics that relate to those little techniques I was mm -hmm. just showing you. But right. also, um, I'm not sure whether everybody knows this. Uh, Angie B, of course, has all of the replays in her various locations, including YouTube, and I also mount the replays for this program on my uh, YouTube channel. So oh. again, look for, look for my name and they're all in there somewhere. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Yippee, yippee. As, as, as we say in human design, I am a five, uh, uh, 952, I am organized. <laughs> Drives well, my friends nuts. Okay. I used to be organized. Um, I can't afford anything. What do you suggest? Oh. Well, first, you're going to de-stress yourself using your positive points. Two, three, five, two, six, five, 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 two. And you know, such an interesting thing happened a couple of days ago. I am in um, throwing out mode, you know, mm -hmm. and I have a yarn room full of, <laughs> wait for it, yarn. <laughs> and um, I use a circular knitting machine. So I, I knit hats for the local high school and, you know, and normally, normally I would actually be in full, you know, Christmas production mode right now, but I'm busy and I'm writing my book and all that good stuff. Yeah. I warned everyone, you're all getting mugs this year. That's it. Okay. My point is I took a little photograph of some of the yarns that actually do not work in my circular knitting machine. So most of them are big twist value from Joanne's. Right. And there's some colors that I don't know why, even why I bought them. They're not colors that I wear. I was just trying to offer a range for these high school kids for their hats, you know. So I put on two separate batches on Marketplace. Yeah. And um, it took me a moment to realize the same person was asking for both. Okay. Right. Julian. And even though I know better, especially when it comes to names, I thought this was a gal. But it wasn't. This oh. lovely young black guy who's about 25. He's a, he's a grad student here at, in the university. This town. Wow. He said to me, I have no money. But he wasn't saying it from a pity party point of view. Right. And I really want to get my mom something for Christmas. And this is just, this is perfect because she loves to crochet and, you know, so he's responding to something that she would actually like. Mm -hmm. And I said, great, let me get an extra bin liner. Now, what other colors do you think she would like? <laughs> and seriously, I sent him away with 30, wow. six ounce rolls of worsted weight. I mean, so all worsted weights so is all going to work together. Yeah. And he is going to have one happy mom when he goes down to North Carolina for Thanksgiving. Oh, how! Bags of yarn. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, 
that if you express to the universe, okay, help me with this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I don't have a picture of how I'm going to deal with, with Christmas or Hanukkah, whichever it is for you. You'd be amazed. You send yeah. out your request, you give thanks in advance, and you run across somebody like me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 you know, you just take the action steps that your intuition is suggesting to you because he was the one who went on to Marketplace thinking, oh, yeah. maybe there's something there. Maybe somebody's giving something away. Yeah. You know? And, and, and matched up that opportunity with something that his, his mom, he thought his mom would like. So I'm really hoping to hear from him again that, that she did like it. And I said to him, look, if she likes the yarn and, and you remember some of the other colors, and there's something that I can part with that mm -hmm. she would like, you let me know. We'll send you down there with another bag. Ah, ah, you know? ah, because it's helping me too. It is. Do, it do you see is. how this works? It's it's just about alignment, but de-stress yourself first because here's the point I actually wanted to get to, and I know, Dr. Kevin, you'll agree with me, especially if I actually give you some space to <laughs> respond. <laughs> um, when we're under stress or in pain, and it can be emotional pain or it can be physical pain, yeah, when we're under stress or we're in pain, it shuts down our brains. It does. You just can't be think. You can't think. You forget yeah. you that just... you have choices. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's take the situation of the person who's, you know, they're 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 scheduled to go to the spouses. Yeah, shut. Pain shuts down the brain. It takes out your truth. It's very simple. It takes out your truth. Fear takes out your light. Pain takes out your truth. Okay. And intelligence is truth and light. So if either one's missing, you are just SOL. Yeah. Seriously. You are. Okay. So let's take the situation of, let's say, I, 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 not you, Kevin, I, because I know you're, you're kind of sorted out in that way. Um, but let's just take an imaginary person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is going, oh gosh, you know, I, I've committed to going to the spouse's parents or family or whatever and i just know there's going to be this problem because there always is right mm -hmm. so we're, we're taking it out of the past we're saying in the past there's been this we're projecting it into the future and we're saying eek this is happening again okay well there are a couple of things that you can do about that one is every time you think about it you do your positive points every time you think about it you put your hand on top of your head and then the other one. Yeah, it's because we'll get you back into now and then you have more choices. Right. But actually look at some of those choices too. Get your brain functional again and say, okay, you know, do I actually have some choices here? Talk well, to your spouse and say, yeah. this really doesn't work for me. What can we do? How can we solve this together? Yeah. Yeah, so get your spouse on board. Interestingly enough, two years ago, I had... A patient when I was still working as an occupational therapist, yeah, who was in a fetal position in bed, sobbing, oh. was sobbing. Two, three, five, she six. Had, she okay. had chronic, severe pain, and they didn't know where it was coming from. Right, kind of like a fibromyalgia, but they weren't sure it was fibromyalgia. Uh huh, and. As an occupational therapist, I had nothing to offer her. Uh huh. Nothing. I and had yet. But. <laughs> I was going to say, and yet. We know there's yet, more to this story. <laughs> and yet, as a hypnotherapist, I had a lot to offer her. Yeah. So I talked with her about it, and she was like, You're going to hypnotize me? I said, yes, but you're going to feel so much better after that. And after six treatments, mm. she was driving her car again. This and is the I, one who did the, the buffet, isn't it? Yes. This is the one who cooked and baked an entire buffet for the family for her grandson graduating from law school. And this is a woman who had not been able to drive or cook or do any of those things for, for two years. You know, weeks, months. Two years. Two years. Oh my gosh. Two, two years. years. Yeah. And 
after the eighth treatment, I arrived at the house. She was singing. She was packing the food that she had cooked. She had done the laundry, folded the clothes, vacuumed the house, and was looking forward to the four-hour drive into L.A. Yeah. Now, if you, if there's no traffic, it's probably an hour and a half, two hours there. But with traffic, double that time. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, for sure. And this is a lady who had not been able to sit up in her car for two years. Yeah. So this is specifically about about pain. It's about and pain. It, and 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 the techniques I was showing you also work on pain. Right. But let's let's just just bring yeah. focus back into the holiday situation. But she was stressing, right, about the whole situation. Mm -hmm. So, I normally record every session, the mm -hmm. hypnotherapy part of the session, and I give it to the client. Yeah. So that they're able to listen to it. And so by this time, she had seven hypnotherapy tapes now Ooh. each one was a little bit different sure and was giving different messages to the subconscious yeah exactly because it's all about programming it's, it's all, about, all programming. about programming it's all about programming and upon my leaving after our final session we did eight sessions her husband was preparing the car. Yeah. And I said, nice knowing you. Goodbye. And he says, you're leaving? I said, yes, we're done. And he said, well, I was across the street getting into my car. And he was fiddling mm -hmm. with his car. And he said, go over here a minute. And so I did. I, you know, it's like that. He gave me a great big hug. With tears in his eyes, he said, thank you for giving me my wife back. Exactly. Exactly. And yeah. she was walking. She was going to the grocery store. She was shopping. She was coming home. Now, we didn't get rid of the pain. We changed the interpretation. Yes, exactly. And so with stress, you're doing the same thing. Absolutely. You're changing the interpretation about the stress. You're absolutely right. Yeah, thank you. That's a very, very important point. Because you see, my dears, every sensory impression you've ever had in your life, ever, 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 whether you remember it or not, has been filtered through your beliefs and is stored mm -hmm. somewhere in your hard drive, right? Yeah. So it's not that we're getting rid of whatever upset you to start with. Yeah, because there will have been an originating point if you're that stressed about going to the family for the holidays or wherever it is you know. Yeah. It's that we can look at that pattern and say, you know what? I have a choice here. And my choice is I'm not running that again. Yeah. Right. We are de-stressing the pattern itself mm -hmm. so that you have a choice. You can choose to run that again or you can choose to not run that again. That's what choice is. Right. Do you see? So yeah. if you're feeling very constrained by the family situation or whatever situation it is that's making you unhappy about or stressed about the, the holidays, let, I'm here to remind you, you have some choices. You do have choices. Yeah. And I think it's important to realize and validate not everybody is happy over the holidays. Right. There are a number of people that are very sad during the holidays. And yeah. the thing is, um, is rather than going, oh, cheer up, it's fun time. It's, you know, blah, 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 blah. You're going to have fun. This is going to be great. This is going to be, sit down and listen. Yes. Sit down and go, well, tell me about this. What, what's going on here? Yeah. And rather than discounting what they're saying validate it 
you know, just agreeing with them. Whether it's an accurate interpretation or not, it's their interpretation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're not making them wrong. You're not making them wrong. You're making them right. And by giving them validity, you're strengthening their ego. And it's also helping them with their to reduce their stress level so that when they do go to the family event, they're not stressing. So, and then, and then also sort of even further down the line from that, I mean, it's excellent advice, even further down the line from that, you can also be asking if you're having that kind of conversation, mm -hmm. you can be asking, well, can you imagine something that would help you feel better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because right. remember, to, to your inner system, there is no difference. Right. They, they cannot distinguish between an actual experience, somebody else's experience that has been dumped on you, mm -hmm. uh, your imagination, illusion, a dream, whatever. So if you're going to have, if, if you can reframe whatever's bugging you about the situation, and if you can imagine... A different resolution then go with that i mean if you're making it up as you go along you may as well make up something that actually works for you yeah. did we not have an experience of that just this morning dr kevin yes we did are you willing to mention that um well it's not a secret i do suffer from chronic pain and friday night my spouse and i took a friend out for a belated birthday gift to dinner and then we went to a show but we had to walk four blocks <gasps> horrors i haven't walked that far in a long time and so while going there i was having spasms and mm -hmm. all sorts of things mm -hmm. and my spouse is very supportive and said do you want to sit down i said no let's just get there and i'll sit in the chair when mm -hmm. we get there Mm -hmm. um, but since then, um, my body has been barking <laughs> very loudly. And, um, so since Friday, my body has mm -hmm. been on a protest. So what I do is I attempt to change my interpretation of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And instead of describing it as a negative, I try and put a comedy on it. Like, you know, yeah, my hip's barking again. Yeah, my hip's talking to me again. But and that was not the resolution I was thinking of. Okay. Okay, can I jump in? Yes, please do. All right. So. Dr. Kevin was talking to me on Facebook today as we were getting ready for, for this taping. And um, and he was complaining. <laughs> and I, was, I was doing positive points for him and I was sending Reiki to him and I was doing the stuff that I do. And I don't know oh, whether yeah. that helped or not. But um, so he then said, gee, I wish I could just put this pain in a taxi. And I said, well, why don't you then? And I did. And he did. And now I feel great. See? So seriously, uh, you you know, yeah, be imaginative. Use your yeah. tools. Re reform your stress. Reformulate it. Make yes. it something a positive rather than focusing on the negative. Or at least uh, send it away. And Dr. Kier reminded me that, you know, you're complaining here, but in a very nice, gentle way. And I'm going. I guess I am. <laughs> well, because what you focus on is what you're going to get more of. So right. if, if you, dear oh. listener, are saying, oh, my gosh, it's going to be a, a nightmare. It's going to be a repeat of last week, last year, Christmas, when, yeah. you know, Uncle Henry did this, that, and the other. No, 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 no. It may not be. It may not Firstly, be. it may not be. And secondly, use your imagination. Just imagine everyone sitting around the table with no clothes on. Yeah. It's hard to take them seriously, especially politically, if they have no clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I do have some family members that would be like, hmm, that might be interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, but at least it would be a reframe. 
to be a reframe. Oh my God, I don't think I want to see that stomach sticking out four feet. <laughs> okay, so my point is, and I think your point here, Dr. Yeah. Kevin, is that is you can actually, you know, use the powers of your mind to make it a little silly, a little lighter, send it home in a cab, you know, whatever it is. And and one other thing um, that that is really worth looking at is 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 actually I'm working back around to the triggers. Okay. So when I get seriously upset at something, that's where I look. I say, okay, what where's the where when is the first time I had this response to this yeah. stimulus or this situation? Oh gosh, there was that time that uh you know it's my sister's fourth birthday party and she was for some reason really upset that I was there. I was two and a half. Come on. <laughs> you know, it's not my responsibility. <laughs> And I go back and, you know, I, I, I do the clearing stuff back then. And I realized that it was never about me. I mean, Uncle Henry's capacity for getting drunk and, and you know, goosing all the young women, it's not about you. No. It's... You know? So look at those places where you felt stressed, where you felt embarrassed way back in the past. Use your muscle testing. Check check what happened like before the age of 10. Probably not to you. Probably yeah. to your parents or your your Uncle Henry or yeah. know, whatever it is. Or Uncle Leslie or whatever. Um, yeah. I, I have nothing against the name Henry per se. Right. I do not, in fact, have an Uncle Henry myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Um, but you see what I mean? Is that, is that just just you know step back, use your detachment, one two, release one two, one inch below the navel, and say, well, why is what is going on here that is bothering me so much? I mean, it's just and person, actually. And here's another technique, <laughs> which is very connected. Uh, my teacher Dorothy always said to me, "Look, there are basically five kinds of insanity, or." mental whatever right yeah. and they are stupid stubborn idiot moron imbecile next time somebody cuts you off in traffic use it as a diagnostic tool yeah that person is being stupid stubborn idiot moron or an imbecile for some reason normally it's imbecile when they're around me and then i go oh they're just being an imbecile okay not about me right yeah. and not about you dear listener probably it's, i mean maybe it would be about you but probably it's not. not about you it's, i mean maybe uh, it's about you you know, look at look at the situation. And if it's something that happened 20, 30 years ago, hypnotherapy and geotran can help you to release it <laughs> and let it go. Yeah. And you can just go, wee, yeah. and off you go. Absolutely. So it's, if holidays are a difficult time for you, Reach out. Yes. Reach yeah, do out. the prep work now. Don't end up in the situation, yeah. you know, while stressed out and, and being convinced you're going to handle it badly because, you know, if you're convinced you're handling it badly. You um, will. You will. <laughs> and and use the tools. And for heaven's sake, get in touch with one of us because really that's exactly the stuff we help you clear. Yeah. And we can help you either clear it or we can help you to reformat it. Yeah. And, um, so reach out. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people where, you know, they're alone for the holidays. Their family is, you know, especially among the elderly. Mm. The elderly where the family's already uh, passed on or the kids are out of town, live across the country, stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. reach out, you know, reach out, get some help. You can go to YouTube and you can type in, uh, hypnosis for stress. Yep. Yeah. It's all about letting go of the stress. And, it's, and it's, if it's some, if it's a repeating pattern, then look for where that pattern started and fix yeah. it back there. Yeah. You know, so, and we can teach you how to do self hypnosis. Oh Yeah. And it's not difficult. You just have to stay focused. <laughs> Which, of course, if you're all stressed out, is indeed the challenge. It's really difficult. It's very, <laughs> very difficult. 
Even if you just keep saying to yourself, it's not happening now. It's not happening now. It's not happening now. now. The last person I went out with, which was six or seven years ago, had just come out of a really challenging marriage. <laughs> uh. Foolish me, I thought I could help. What can I tell you? And uh, I, I vividly remember one evening that we were going to, you know, we were having dinner. We were having dinner at his house. I mean, we weren't out, you know, we were just having dinner. And we thought maybe we'd watch a film or something like that. And he was getting just so upset at his ex. And I got it. I understood. And I, finally, I was saying to him, look, you have a choice here. You can spend the rest of the after the you know, rest of the evening totally upset about somebody who's not even present, mm -hmm. or you can be present yourself and have a pleasant evening with me. Like, yeah. I mean, to me, that was a really obvious choice. I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> you chose to stay upset, so I left. <laughs> yeah, it's. What are you going to do? Somebody's exactly. determined to. Exactly. You know what? Stress is just another form of fight, flight, or freeze. It really is. It really is. And it's worth yeah. it's worth acknowledging which of those it is. Yes. Acknowledge and, which one it is. And then listen to your de-stressing tape mm -hmm. or to your geotran clearings. And you'll feel so much better. And that is well worth the energy of choosing if you see what i yeah. mean you know get, get your brain to the place where you can make a choice again and then choose something that actually serves you yeah exactly exactly and this is what i was writing about just today um was uh the fact that we have these synapses that get trained when in our subconscious mm -hmm. and we will revert to those and that's why it's really really helpful whether you're doing Chan, whether you're doing hypnotherapy, any anything that's changing the way you look at things, the way you think about things, the way you feel about things, it's really worth having the discipline yes. to develop the new muscles because otherwise you're going to fall back in that ditch. I'm sorry to tell you, it's not what I would wish for you. I would not wish that for you. Um, again, it's your choice. Yeah. You have choices to make. However, we have tools that we can give you to bolster your mm -hmm. strength so that you don't fall back in to the rep. There you go. So, you know, we're here. Reach out to us. Um, my email is kevinrichardsontherapy at gmail.com. Reach out to me. Yep. And I'm Dr. Kira Debt at gmail.com. And just as a final thought, just as, as with Dr. Kevin, I, he said, well, I wish I could put the pain in a taxi and send it off. And I said, well, great. Just do that then. Yeah. I did. So sometimes <laughs> it's easier when it's somebody else outside you. It is. It is. Um, have that thought about your upcoming holidays. Yeah. What's the best way they could go? How about exactly. creating that with your anticipation? How about being in alignment with that? And at, even if it doesn't quite work out the way that you're imagining it, at least you have not spent the intervening six weeks <laughs> being stressed out. Yeah, fretting about it. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it just may not happen. It, and so most likely from one year to the next, it's going to be different. Hooray! And if it does appear to be working the same, you have the strength, you have the tools and the knowledge on how to reformat that in your brain and just chuckle to yourself going, oh, here's Uncle Albert again. And oh my, well, he'll be asleep soon. After <laughs> that, of course, he can be asleep I think soon. I'll take a little walk around the block. <laughs> 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 I'll be back when he's asleep. <laughs> okay. Yep. Well, worst comes to worst, there's always plenty of chocolate. That's what I say. And we are out of time. Oh my God. I I hope this has been useful to you. 
as Dr. Kevin says, we are so available for you. Get in touch and may your holidays be as wonderful as you can imagine and then some. Yes. Ting. Very good. <laughs>